Aquarius, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the month of April. These messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Just take what does Aquarius, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and get some overall energies for you and see what you can expect for the month of April. So Spirit, give me some messages for the sign of Aquarius. What is going to be happening in the month of April for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. Okay, what do I have? I have the light. I have purity. I'm getting for some of you, you may be expecting the birth of a child. You may be having, I heard like your first child in the month of April. I'm just getting like a lot of childlike energy with this delight. I'm also getting for some of you, you may be connecting more with your inner child. I have stillness. Let's get one more message. Okay. Oh, and I have miracles. Okay, I'm looking for a miracle. The sky is the limit. I believe the Clark, the Clark Sisters um, song that song yes they are the originators of that song i believe i may be wrong but yes the sky is the limit to what you can have aquarius that's what the month of april is going to be about for you recognizing that there is no limit to life there is no limit to your happiness i feel like with this purity this is just going to be you developing a different outlook because you're going to have so much balance within you um, and with this stillness, you're going to be able to finally look and just embrace everything around you, your surroundings. You're just going to have a very positive outlook overall. And by you having this positive outlook, by you being in this good energy, is going to allow you to attract more of the things that you desire. Um, I'm just getting like a slow and easy vibe coming from you in the month of April where it's like you're just sitting back, you're reflecting and just taking everything in. I heard like joy, just taking all the joy in. Um, there's something that's coming in that you're not expecting that is going to be life changing for some of you. I'm looking at the rainbow in this miracles picture and it's like just above the rainbow is your blessing and you do have a blessing coming in the sky is the limit to what you can have this is something that you never thought was going to happen Aquarius but because you're in such a good place a good head space it's like you're attracting so many positive things to you this is going to be a season full of the unexpected so definitely expect the unexpected Aquarius. Let's pull some messages for the light. Spirit, tell me about the light. And I'm getting like go, go, go. For some of you where you've been like so busy on the go, um, you really haven't had the time to just sit back, relax. It's like in the month of April, you're finally going to have some downtime. You're going to be able to slow down and just enjoy life. Spirit, tell me about the light. I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, it's like you were looking at life from a negative perspective. Um... Really not having a positive outlook. For some of you, I'm getting like taking things for granted, taking people in your life for granted. Um, not really understanding everything that was around you, not appreciating everything that was around you, Aquarius. And it's like in the month of April, you're gonna have a new perspective. You're finally going to be able to see the beauty in life. The beauty that is you. Give me a message for purity. I have 10% reverse. Yeah. You're coming out of a season where like you don't feel like yourself for some of you. 
Um, it's just been very difficult. You've been, you know, I'm getting like wishy-washy, like your emotions have been all over the place. You've been experiencing like a lot of highs and lows and you're finally coming to a place where it's like you're balanced out in your mental state, in your emotional state. Let's get a message for stillness. I have the eight of wands. Yeah. With this stillness and eight of wands, again, you're learning how to slow down. With this eight of wands, it is a very fast moving energy. It's very fast moving. And so you are definitely learning how to slow down, how to just take life one day at a time. Just not to be in such a rush to accomplish certain goals certain feats it's like instead of you being focused on the next thing the next project the next this the next that that it's like you're just going to take time to embrace where you are it's like once you accomplish one thing instead of you moving on to the next you're just going to take a few moments to embrace what it is that you've already achieved before you move on Yeah, I heard the art of appreciation, like you're learning the art of appreciation. Spirit, tell me about miracles. What do I have? The king of wands. Yeah, there's going to be something that's moving forward. Yeah, there's definitely going to be something that's moving forward that is progressing for you in the month of April. I feel like for some of you, you're in this king of wands energy where you are creating um you're being very dominant you're being very self-assured um you're moving forward you know with your ideas any projects endeavors that you're working on and it's like things are going to start to take off very quickly for you yes you're definitely going to see fast movement so where things may have been imbalanced in terms of you know you trying to reach a goal and not really getting the results um you feeling like you're were in a state of lack you were not going to see the success that you were hoping for all of that is going to change in the month of april like again i'm looking for a miracle yes you are looking for a miracle aquarius and you are going to find that miracle let's pull some spiritual energies for you give me some spiritual energy for the sign of aquarius I cannot make it up. Be still. And what do we have here? Stillness. So, yeah, it's just about you taking in the moment, about you just stopping to reflect, stopping to embrace the miracle that is going to be happening, the new changes that are going to be taking place, and not being in such a rush to get to the next thing. Just embracing where you are. Let's get a message, another message for your spiritual energy. I have a dress spending pattern. So yeah, for some of you, you are going to be prompted to watch your spending in the month of April. Do not overspend. I'm getting like a baby shower for someone. You may be having a baby shower in the month of April. And the spirit is saying, do not overspend. Make sure that you're budgeting, you're saving. Um, I heard like tide. So there is something that is going to come up that is very unexpected for you. And you want to make sure that you have the money in order to pay for it, you know, so that you don't feel a huge sense of depletion when it comes to your finances. You actually have a little nest egg where you can take care of whatever issue arises and still have some money left over in order to take care of other necessities, Aquarius. Let's pull some more messages for you. Spirit, give me some more messages for Aquarius. More spiritual energy for Aquarius. What do I have? Everything in perfect balance. Exactly. You're coming into balance. You're going to be in perfect balance. And what I'm getting with this also, you're going to recognize that your life is in perfect balance. Your life is in perfect balance. I know a lot of times people want everything to be perfect, happy-go-lucky all the time, but you cannot have the good without the bad. 
that's what you're going to recognize. Like you can't have the good without the bad. There has to be an equilibrium. The shadow cannot exist without the light and the light cannot exist without the shadow. Both are needed. Both are necessary. So yes, everything is in perfect balance. This is you learning how to accept the good, the bad, the indifferent in the month of April. Let's get another message. What do I have? Alone but not lonely. Uh, for some of you, you may be taking some time away just being by yourself, wanting to be alone, wanting to reflect. Again, be still. For some of you, you may be doing a lot of meditation in the month of April. But you're definitely going to be called to reflect. Reflect a lot on your life, Aquarius. Spirit, give me some final spiritual energy for the aquas. What do I have? Okay. I have more excitement is entering your romantic life, additional attention, and potential for jealous lovers. So, yes. For those of you who are looking to come out of the singlehood lifestyle, um, you are going to be attracting a lot of romantic counterparts. And with this potential for jealous lovers, I'm getting like, just be mindful of people competing over you. Because I do feel like Aquarius, you are going to have a lot of people competing for your attention in the month of April. I heard like discern, make sure that you're discerning the spirits, the energies, you know, that you are giving your time to the right individual. Lastly, I have adding more plants to your personal space will help you maintain a high vibe. I heard plant life. I heard greenery. Um, I, I'm getting a vision like of a greenhouse. So someone may have a greenhouse or you may be thinking about getting a greenhouse. But I feel like you're definitely going to be connecting more to nature in the month of April. I'm also getting like riding on the beach. For some of you, you may take a lot of trips to the beach, ride on the beach. I heard like put your feet in the sand. So you, yeah, you're really going to want to get outdoors more in the month of April. Let's pull some love energies for you. Spirit, give me some love energies for the sign of Aquarius. Love energies for the sign of Aquarius. What do I have? I have the page. I'm sorry, the king of swords. Let's get some more love energies for you. Okay. All right, I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Queen of Swords, but in the reverse, and I have Strength in the reverse. Okay. I feel like with this Queen of Swords, this is someone else's energy. This is someone on the outside who is very low vibrational. I feel like for some of you, you have someone coming in, but they are going to have baggage. This person is going to have baggage. They may have like a, a child's mother or child's father, and, or they may have recently gotten a divorce, but they are going to have baggage. Um, there's going to be someone else in the picture from their past that they can't really get rid of because of the ties. So it could be because of children, because, you know, that's their ex-husband, ex-wife. But there's going to be something there that still binds these two people together. Yeah, with this Ten of Pentacles, like this person may have experienced a financial setback due to the ending of this connection. And it's like with the strength, they may not feel as secure when it comes to entering a new relationship because it's like they're not where they want to be financially. Um, and they don't feel like they have as much to offer as they once did prior to getting involved with this person. Let's clarify the messages. Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So I have the Three of Cups in the reverse. I have the Ace of Pentacles and I have the Chariot. So this is someone who knows what they want. They're definitely going to make you a solid offer. 
in the month of April. They know what they want. And this is somebody who I heard, I want to be with you. Yeah, that song by Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj, and I think Future. Yes, this person wants to be with you. Um, wait, I'm looking at, um, I believe, the two Egyptian cats. If I'm saying that correctly, this person will look at you or looks at you as like their divine counterpart. Because I'm getting like the divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. So they look at you, they look at you as their divine counterpart, someone who will bring a lot of balance, a lot of harmony to their life. Um, with the three of cups in reverse, like I feel like this person is like done with the party lifestyle. That's over. That's behind them. They're looking for something serious. Um, this person I heard like is very straightforward and they know what they want. And they're only going to invest into someone who they feel they can actually have something with. Let's get a message for the Ten of Pentacles. But again, I heard baggage. So this person is going to come with baggage for some of you. I have the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person is over like what they've lost. Like they're no longer holding on to, you know, the financial setback that they've been through. They're over it. They're done sulking. Um, they have come in, they have come out of the energy, you know, of feeling like they're stuck. They have nowhere to turn. Um, for some of you, this person was depressed and they've come out of depression because some of them did take a major hit to their finances. Like they've lost more than what they actually thought they would. But they're over it. They've moved past it. Let's get a message for this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay. I have the page of cups in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, they have a child together, but this person uses the child against your person. I'm getting quality time. Yeah, this person may try to interfere with the time that they spend together, but they use the child or they use the children against this person. And I'm looking at the cup, like this person loves their child. They love their children. They're a dedicated father or a dedicated mother, but it's like their partner, their ex-partner uses the relationship with their child or children to manipulate this person to get what they want. Let's get a message for strength in the reverse. I have the hermit. Yeah, this person has been single for a while. They've been single for a while. Um, they have really just lacked confidence. They are, you know, they've just been unsure of themselves. Didn't really know, you know, if someone would want to be with them with everything that they have going on. So they just chose to be single. But I feel like they've worked on themselves and they're now moving into a space where they're confident enough to want to entertain someone you know give love another go around but yeah this person definitely struggled with their confidence was just unsure and they just remained single because like they were just in a very dark place um and they just really didn't know if they could love again if they wanted to be in another relationship after dealing with this past person but there's something special about you, Aquarius. I heard like give it, give love a try. Yeah, that makes them want to give love another try. See where it takes them. There's something different about you. Let's look at your career energy. Spirit, give me some career energy for Aquarius. Career energy for Aquarius. I have the Four of Swords. I have 
the Knight of Cups. I have temp Temperance in the reverse. Oh, and I have the Ten of Pentacles. All right. All right, Aquarius. I heard the wait is over with this Temperance. And the Four of Swords, yes. Okay, the wait is over. I feel like what's getting ready to come in for you in the month of April is going to generate a lot of success, financial abundance. This is like abundance where it's going to be generational you're going to be able to take care of your children grandchildren and so forth yeah there's a new opportunity coming in that is going to be very lucrative for you create a lot of abundance let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper spirit tell me about this four swords and it's like you're going to be able to rest easy like you're no longer going to have to worry about your finances aquarius spirit tell me about this four swords Ooh, what page of pentacles i can't make it up there's a new opportunity a lucrative opportunity that is coming in for you that is going to i heard like wipe the fears away the tears away yeah whatever you've been struggling at when it comes to your finances things are getting ready to shift i'm also getting a payout for some of you you're going to be receiving a payout in the month of april let's get some messages for the knight of cups i heard april 8th what do i have the four of pentacles yes there's a new opportunity, a brand spanking new opportunity. And it's like, for those of you who have been struggling with money, like you've had to penny pinch, like you've been fearful of spending. You had to watch every nickel and dime that you spent. You're not going to have to do that anymore. You're not going to have to worry about that anymore. You're going to make enough. Tell me about temperance in the reverse. Judgment, because this is divine order. This is judgment. This is you getting what you want. This is you reaping what you have sown. The wait is over. You no longer have to wait. This is coming in. I heard for some of you unexpectedly, yes. I heard like the fruits of your labor are going to pay off, Aquarius. Yes. This is you getting what you want. This is you finally getting your just due. I'm also getting attention and notoriety for some of you. You may do something on social media. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. This is an elevation. I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles, 10,000 subscribers. And I'm also getting 100,000 subscribers. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. I have the Five of Swords. Be mindful of greed. I'm looking at his face. Spirit says like when this money comes in, be mindful of greed from other people. I feel like you're going to have someone watching you. For those of you who are going to be coming into money or if you already are very financially stable, be very mindful because in the month of April, I feel like there's somebody coming in who's going to try to steal from you, who's going to try to take money from you. So be very mindful. And this person does not have the best intentions. They may try to be violent. Yeah, I heard criminality. So yeah, this person is definitely going to engage in some type of criminal behavior. When it comes to trying to take from you. Yeah, steal. Yeah, someone is going to try to steal from you in the month of April. So be very mindful. Yes, be very mindful, Aquarius. Because this person sees that you are abundant or will be seeing that you have money, you have the resources. So just be careful. People are watching you. I heard social media. Just be very mindful of the things that you post on social media. I'm getting your car for someone um, your car may be stolen or someone may try to steal your car or the BMW. I'm getting a vision of a red vehicle. 
a red i heard four-door vehicle for someone i heard rims if you have rims on your car be very mindful i'm getting a car with like white leather interior and um that is red on the outside yes white leather interior a red car with white leather interior yeah i'm getting a picture of a mercedes be mindful like as you level up of course you're going to want to purchase things you're going to want the nice home the nice cars but just be very mindful of you know the areas that you are frequenting where you're posting on social media because someone is watching you and i'm just getting like just a, a feeling of somebody getting together and plotting to steal to rob so be mindful aquarius let's get some final messages for the month spirit give me some final messages for aquarius Final messages for Aquarius. What do I have? I have, I am a problem solver. I heard solution. So Spirit is saying that you will be seeing a solution to whatever issues that you have been going through. You will find a solution. And I have, I am safe. Know that you are protected. Know that you are protected. And I'm just looking at the crab legs. For some of you, you may have significant places, placements in cancer. But yeah, know that you are protected. You are divinely protected, Aquarius. Just pay attention to your intuition. And Spirit also says use common sense. <laughs> Spirit God says, make sure that you are using common sense. Yes, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it is a duck. Like, you know, don't let someone try to sell you dreams. And especially going back to this five of swords, you know, just be very careful of your surroundings. Make sure that you're using common sense when it comes to those around you and your actions. I have, I am happy. Yes, you are going to be very joyful in the month of April. Yeah, there's just, I heard like good news. There's a lot of good news that is going to be coming to you. Let's pull one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for Aquarius. One more message for Aquarius. Okay, what do I have? Enjoy the process. Celebrate every small step forward. You are doing an amazing job. The journey is the gift. Exactly. What was I talking about? This is going to be about you enjoying the process. Not thinking about, you know, the next 10 steps, but just focusing on the one step that you've already completed. And taking a moment to just bask in the joy of that one accomplishment, that one step. The rest of the steps, you're going to get there. You'll take. But God just wants you to slow down and enjoy what you've already accomplished. Don't be in such a rush to get to the end. Embrace the journey. So Aquarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.